Hey, what's up guys? So we'll be doing our review today on Crown and Crane's Northwoods soap and balm. I'll also go over pricing and the typical stuff that I go over when reviewing a soap. Uh, for the blade, I'll also be testing this. This is my first use ever with the Balzano. Balzano Super Inox or Super Inox uh, razor blades. So this is what you get. In one pack, it comes with five. So five blades in a pack. Um, I bought uh, 20 off of Amazon, I think for like $8.00. So, pretty inexpensive, um, especially if you can get multiple uses out of them, as, as it's said. These are supposedly some really good blades from what I've, I've heard from others. Let's see if they're double-wrapped or single-wrapped. Okay, they're single-wrapped. Uh, the outer shell here, the packaging, is very... It's different. It feels like wax paper. Um, it's that kind of thickness. It's not the typical thin, you know... Like, um, kind of like you get a gift and you have that packing paper on top. It's not that thin like the tissue paper. This is, this is pretty hefty. So that's nice. Uh, let's look at the blade really quick. It says Super Enox or Super Inox Balzano on both sides. And we have glue just on one side, right there. And no glue on the opposite. Perfect. All right, so this is going to go inside of our Rockwell Super Enox Balzano, a Rockwell 6C. And we're gonna use the R3 base plate. I think you can see that right there, R3. And we'll go ahead and put the handle on, and then we'll get into the soap. Perfect, very nice. Okay, cool. I'm interested in using this. All right, so soap. Let me wet the face, let's get lathering. I've lathered this probably 10 times since I've received it. I've only shaved with it maybe twice. Maybe this is the fourth time I've shaved with it. But anyway, we'll let's get into the specs as I'm lathering. Wet the face really quick. We will be lathering today with our um, 24 millimeter uh, Escali Badger. I'll show you that here now and we'll get to it. Shaking some excess lather or water out. 24 millimeter badger. Okay. So, uh, this company, Crown and Crane, is based in Georgia. Um, they have tallow and vegan soaps. The vegan soap, um, there's only one. It's not scented, it's just an unscented vegan soap. Um, we'll go over the ingredients and pricing. Let's go over pricing first. So, the tallow pricing. Um, the samples, and I have a sample here. They did send a single sample whenever I placed my order. So these little sample pucks here, this is uh, Celtic Tweed. I think that's like a, um, what's that uh, Creed Aventus? Um, is it Gaelic Tweed or something like that? Irish Tweed, something like that. I think this is supposed to mimic that. We'll do a review on this as well. But those little samples um, are 0.75 ounces. Or, uh, and it's, it's $3.50 um, for that little sample. We have pucks as well. The pucks, which I don't have here to show you, are three ounces. And um, they're $8.50 for the puck. And that comes out to $2.83 an ounce. And then we have the jars, which is what we have here. This is a five ounce jar for $16.95. And that comes out to $3.39. Um, for the per ounce cost. So technically the pucks at three ounces are um, about 50, 60 cents cheaper per ounce, but you don't get the container. So that's the pricing on the tallow. Like I said, there is the vegan. Uh, the vegan base, uh, it's the, the same price for the sample. You can get the sample um, unscented puck for the vegan base, same price. The puck is the same price as the tallow, but the jar is $2 less. So instead of $16.95 for the vegan unscented base, it's $14.95. All right. So we have a really, really nice lather here. 
We'll go ahead and throw that on and get to the ingredients in the soap. I'm also going to go over the balm since I have the matching balm. We'll go over those ingredients and the pricing as well. I think it's important to give you guys, you know, all of the information and, and you can do with it what you will. If you haven't seen any of my other shaves using this, um, I'll tell you right now, this scent is, for me, absolutely awesome. I love this scent. This is a great, great scent. Um, it's a fur forward scent, kind of like a Christmas tree. Again, we'll, we'll go over the, the scent profile of this specific soap after the base, but um, yeah, this is a very, very pleasant scent for me. Brings back a lot of uh, memories, you know, because scents do that to us. It'll bring back certain memories that we think of and whatnot. And uh, yeah. So, the soap ingredients. Now this is the, um, this is going to be the tallow version ingredients and I'll give you the vegan ingredients as well, although it's very, very, there's a very minor change. So, tallow soap ingredients, which is this base. We have Potassium, it's a lot of potassium, <laughs> a lot of potassium and sodium. Uh, we have potassium tallowate, sodium tallowate, potassium stearate, sodium stearate, aloe vera juice, potassium cocoate, and sodium cocoate. But wait, there's more. And you can tell we just have an excellent lather here. The soap lather is super easy. I'm assuming it's due to all of those... Uh, Potassium and sodium eight. Um, we have potassium shea butter, sodium shea butter, because without yang wheat, you can't have yang. Uh, Cocum butter, sodium lactate, glycerin, lanolin, and tussa silk. I'm going to tell you what tussa silk is because I was curious as well. It's been in a couple of soaps and even some balm or uh, splashes that I've used in the past. So I'll give you that information here in a second. Let me get this shave going first. Mm. This scent is incredible. Wow. It's nice and strong as well. The scent on this, I would say, is definitely over medium. Maybe touching... Maybe touching eight, eight and a half. So it's very, very nice. All right, perfect. Look, we have a lot of brush ready to go. Clean up a little bit. So the vegan base, really quick, is basically the exact same base as the tallow um, minus the tallow weights. So the sodium tallow weight, the, the potassium tallow weight, the lanolin, and the tussa silk. All right, and then that is kind of what brought me to say, well, what is tussa silk if it's not in the vegan base? And this is what tussa silk is. <clears throat> it's spelled different ways, but the way I'm, I have it written down and the way that they have it on the site is T-U-S-S-A-H. So I don't know if it's really tussa or I'm just going to say tussa, T-U-S-S-A-H. All right, first pass. Ooh, very nice. Very efficient feeling. Again, this is the R3 base plate. We have our standard mm, 24 hours of growth. I'm sorry, 48 hours of growth. Tussa silk is made by the larvae or larvae of some Saturnid, S-A-T-U-R-N-I-I-D, Saturnid, Saturnid moths. So the larvae of specific types of moths. Uh, it is a fiber, which we could have figured that out, um, used in fabrics and soaps. Um, in soaps, it helps the lather and has a great post-shave presence. So that's kind of what I found on Tussa Silk. Very interesting, and I actually looked at some pictures. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. So I'm assuming because it's obviously... Not that the animals are harmed in the making of Tussa Silk, because they they make it. And what I read was they eat it, and then there's no other use for it. So if they make it and then die, 
by natural causes. I don't know. I don't know why that would be such a bad thing that vegans wouldn't enjoy. I, I don't know. Whatever. But yeah, it's animal made. So I guess that's why it's not there. So that's what Tussa Silk is. I, I was very interested. Wow. Very nice. Very, very nice. All right, so that's the first sheet. I'll kind of show you my sheets as well. I have two sheets of notes. Um, so uh, that was the basically the, the the soap itself, pricing, that type of thing, ingredients. So we'll move on to the balm now. By the way, I hope everybody is doing very well. Hope you're all happy. And healthy, because that's the biggest thing, being healthy. So, aftershave balms. Crown and Crane has a two ounce and a four ounce available in their balms. Uh, the one I have here is the four ounce variety. So you can kind of see in correlation to my hand. I have um, large gloves fit me the best, but medium gloves do fit. They're kind of tight, so if that means anything to you, this is kind of the size of the balm. Um, so it's uh, four fluid ounces or 113 milliliters. So, ingredients. Well, let's go over pricing first. Because if it's too much for some people, they don't care about the ingredients. And if it's in their price range, then they'll want to hear about the ingredients even more. So, the pricing. So, for the two ounce uh, balm, it comes in like the same little balm container as well. Um, we're looking at $7.95 for the balm, two ounce. And that comes out to $3.97 per fluid ounce. Um, for the four ounce, it's much cheaper. It's like a dollar cheaper if you get the four ounce. It comes out to eleven ninety five for the four ounce, and then it is uh, two dollars and ninety eight cents. So it's ninety nine cents cheaper to go with per per fluid ounce to go with the uh, the four ounce as opposed to the two. This is one of those um, one of those scents that just lifts my mood. And again, it just, it all ties into when I was a kid going, cutting down our Christmas tree, bringing it to the house, letting it sit outside, going out there and smelling it every day after school. Like the scent on, as if you could get any indication from this, the scent on this stuff is, uh, is incredible, you know? But again, you have to like, kind of like a, I wouldn't say it's like a green smelling scent. It's, it's most definitely 150% Christmas tree, so... Anyway, or phrase your fur if Christmas isn't your thing. Okay, very nice lather. Wow. All right, so the ingredients in the balm. We have aloe vera juice, distilled water, meadow foam seed oil, avocado oil. We have sweet almond oil, emulsified, uh, what is that? I can't even remember all the writing. Emulsifying wax, okay? Uh, glycerin, stearic acid, mallow extract, M-A-L-L-O-W extract, uh, rose hip, that's right, R-O-S-E-H-I-P, rose hip. Um, I don't know what that is either. I probably should have looked that up. Seed oil, vitamin E, and uh, this balm is paraben, paraben free. I might have missed it on the soap, them having that the soap is paraben free, but I don't 
I think I saw that. So does that mean that the soap has parabens? I don't know. It probably doesn't, but I don't know. So that's the ingredients for the balm. Let's go and give you the scent profile now. Since I've already given you my thoughts on the scent, <laughs> may as well give you the profile. Wow, this thing, this blade is like very nice. It, it kind of reminds me, it doesn't have that, um, it has the efficiency of the feather, but it's kind of like a, not like a super sharp feeling. And the same, the, the another blade that has that exact same feeling, at least for my skin and, and, and my preference, is the GSP, the Gillette Silver Blue. Like that also kind of has the same, the same kind of feeling, the Gillette Silver Blues. So, yeah, I like this. Hopefully this, uh, this isn't just an anomaly, you know, having one great blade and then the rest might be poo-poo, but I don't think so. I think that from, from what I've seen other people say about the Balzano blades, I think they're all very, very good. I know I'm not going too in depth on the Balzanos, like where they're made, pricing, that type of thing, but, um, I can do that if you guys want in, in the following video or in some video in the future. Very, very nice. What else do we have here? Okay, scent. Let's get into the scent. What are we at? 16 minutes? So the scent on this soap, uh, this is from... Uh, Crown and Crane's website. Northwood captures the scent of a Fraser fir tree. Uh, this scent includes notes of lemon and moss, amber, cedar, and cypress. Um, what, what else did I have written down here? Yeah, yeah. So yeah, it's a very nice outdoorsy scent. Um, like I said, for me, I really, really enjoy this. Really, really enjoy this scent. I just wish I was able to like, you know, it'd be so cool to have something like, everybody always says smell a vision, but let's just say, well, we could use smell a vision, whatever. <laughs> but, but honestly, you know, cause you don't know if you like specific scents and stuff and then you have to buy them and try them. And yeah, you can even get samples, but then the samples you're paying for, you know, in this case, four dollars, well, three dollars and fifty cents for a sample. Um, but then you're also going to pay at least four bucks in shipping for that sample, so you're almost up to ten bucks in after taxes. With, you know, and that's not the fault. I'm not specifically picking on Crown and Crane. I mean, I think everybody's samples are around the same price, so it's the same issue. You know, just wish there was another way. I mean, I guess there kind of is. We could kind of do like a pass around for all the guys here, you know, if everyone, if we had people that were interested. Um, so, all right. So yeah, that's the scent. Um, Crown and Crane. Um, oh, let's, let's go over kind of where it's sold or where I found that it was sold. So it's definitely sold on Crown and Crane's website, which is crownandcrane.com. Um, the only other place I found it, I did see that Maggards used to sell it, but they don't any longer. So I don't know what happened there. I also searched on West Coast Shaving. I think Maggards and West Coast Shaving are probably two of the biggest online retailers of wet shaving products. I could be wrong on that, but that's just my assumption. But neither of them have it. So the Crown and Crane website and the Razor Company website. Oh, that's the RazorCompany.com. They had, I think they had a bit limited of a selection on the Razor Company's website. Maybe they were just out of stock and they don't list out of stock items. But Crown and Crane, I believe, had over 15 different scents on their site. So, And, you know... I don't expect samples whenever I order things, but I did receive a sample. Um, you know, I do, I do let, um, whenever I buy from vendors, I do let them know, you know, Hey, this is Thomas the Shaver. I have a YouTube channel. I'm going to be reviewing this. So on that channel, 
And I do that not to get anything because I've never really been sent anything. Samples, I mean, before I even started making my YouTube channel, I would receive like random samples um, when I order things. So it's not due to that. It's just, you know, it, it for more than anything, honestly, it may lead to another viewer. Like whoever reads that may check out the channel and may be like, hey, you know, I like this guy. <laughs> I don't think that's ever happened, but it could. All right. So yeah, that's basically all of the information on Crown and Crane, yeah, the base for all of the soaps, the pricing, um, the ingredients, and where you can purchase it from, and the scent notes or profile of the one that I actually have. So um, yeah, the weather here this week, it's supposed to be pretty poor this coming week. So, hmm, we'll see. My mother-in-law comes in tomorrow. Um, they'll be here for, she'll, well, it's just, it's just her. She'll be here for four days, four days. Yeah. She'll be here for four days, and then her, my wife, and the baby, actually, are going back to Miami for um, a couple of uh, weeks, two weeks, which is going to suck. You know, it used to suck just because my wife wasn't here when she would go and visit her family for a couple of weeks. Not, I can't take off of work two weeks. But now, obviously, we have the kid, and I'm going to miss the hell out of him, you know? Like, some sometimes it'll be nice, like, when I'm sleeping, and, like, <laughs> I don't get woken up by, like, crying or something. But, like, during the day, it's going to suck when I'm here, you know, and, and he's not. That's going to suck for sure. I might get a little bit better sleep, um, but that's about it. I think the lather kind of dried out on me. It was kind of a thin coating anyway. Let's throw some more on here. There we go. So we have the McGregor, I don't know if anybody, well, I don't think many, many of you guys that watch my videos also watch the UFC events, but we have McGregor versus Poirier. And if you know anything about Poirier, Dustin Poirier, he's actually from Lafayette, Louisiana. We actually have several clients in Lafayette, Louisiana for work that I visit. Not too frequently. I mean, between all of them, I go over there quite a bit, but I don't see each of them individually too often. But, um, yeah. Um, so Dustin is from Lafayette. This will be the uh, trilogy fight. So they've actually fought twice before. Uh, Connor won the first fight, Dustin won the second fight, which wasn't that long ago. I think it was earlier this year. So yeah, they'll have the they'll have the uh, trio. The third fight, the trilogy. So that should be pretty cool. Um, I think I'm gonna go to a buddy's to watch it. I mean, there's the whole. You guys know there's the whole, you know, illegal streaming stuff. I don't really like to do that. I don't do that. My buddy, my buddy purchases them. So I'll just go over there and watch the thing, you know. <clears throat> and some people, I even know that some people think that's wrong. Like, it's like, 
you know, it's just for your family or, you know, just for you and one other person. And that's like, what? Because I can go, I can go to Buffalo Wild Wings and literally spend like five bucks and get a drink and like a six, a six piece of uh, uh, tenders or whatever and, <laughs> and watch the fights all night at Buffalo Wild Wings along with 150 other people in there. And so they've only paid for one license. So I don't, I don't understand those. Those guys that complain about, you know, people having two or three people over to watch the fights at their house. It's kind of crazy. Oh yeah, this blade is nice. So yeah, we have that this weekend. Um, it's about the only thing I'm looking forward to because like I said, the weather's going to suck. So I can't, it, it's getting to that point again where like the grass needs to be cut. Like it needs to be cut because it's going to get so long that I'm going to have to cut it twice. Essentially, I'm going to have to put the lawnmower deck at the very highest setting, cut it because the we have the bahia or whatever growing. So you've got to kind of cut that down halfway and then I've got to go across the entire yard, which takes about an hour and a half. And then I've got to go back and cut it completely again. So it'll be a three hour ordeal just cutting the grass not including weed eating or weed whacking some of you northern guys say weed whacking so well i think guys in the north and also in the west so yeah it's just you know it's i think if i'm able to cut it if i'm able to cut it over the next oh wow that's a very very nice smooth feeling wow oh yeah smooth feeling shave do have a little bit right there. If I'm able to cut it over the next two or three days, which I, I think is very unlikely, I might be able to get away with not um, having to cut it twice, essentially in the same in the same day. But like I said, that's very unlikely, unfortunately. So, oh. It's a very, very good shave. I enjoyed that. What are we at? 27 minutes? Yeah, our typical, by the end of this, it'll be a little over 30 minutes, I'm sure. I changed my wife's oil today in her vehicle. We actually, we used our, our two vehicles. Mine's GMC, hers is Chevrolet. And they're kind of like, they're not the same vehicle. Because, you know, Chevrolet and GMC are kind of, they're not the same company, obviously. But, like, there's the Chevy, Traver Chevy Traverse or is it GMC Traverse? I think it's the Chevy Traverse, which is equal to, like, the GMC Terrain or something like that. It's like, they're, they're not the same, but they're similar. Um, and they use a lot of the same parts, almost identical parts. Completely, I'm talking about. So, uh, yeah, so she uses the same oil. She uses the same oil filter as mine. The same 32 millimeter socket for the oil filter. I have that already for mine, so I'll use it for hers. Yeah, so changed her oil. Man, compared to like changing the oil in my truck, well, my old truck, it's so easy, you know? I just, it's, it's so simplistic in these things. You know, the, uh, with my truck, the oil filter was under the hood. <laughs> I'm sorry, not under the hood. It was under the engine, not on top of the uh, engine like this one is. And so with this one, all I do is literally I pop the hood. I get my 32 millimeter socket, put it on, put my ratchet on, take it off. Out comes the filter and out comes the housing and out comes the actual, or out comes the housing and out comes the filter. Done. Put the new one in. Um... With my old one, oh, I'm looking like a geisha again, huh? With my truck, it was a pain in the butt, the entire process. My truck was also not synthetic oil, it was conventional oil. Oh my god, I, I like, dude... If this scent seems good to you and you're going to pull the trigger on it, 
and you're going to get the soap to try out the base and that type of thing. Please do yourself a favor, even if you get the two ounce one. Please get the balm. The scent strength on the balm, I would say, is a nine, maybe even nine and a half, maybe even ten. I don't really have a defining ten, you know. Mm. My goodness. It's almost like, like I know I would never eat a Fraser fir tree. But it's almost like that that's so damn good, I just want to like lick my hands. Obviously I wouldn't, but but it's like it's that good. It's it's very it's a very nice scent. Mm-hmm. It's a very nourishing balm, very good balm. Wipe the excess on the arms. Yeah. So Crown and Crane, from what my experience has been, um, uh, great performing soap, great performing balm. Uh, they, do, they do not have aftershave splashes. They just have balms, um, which I, I find okay. I find that okay. Oh, also, uh, this was sent. You, you guys remember um, Thomas uh, D, which watches my videos quite often. Um, he sent the House of Mammoth uh, Mood Indigo Soap several months ago, maybe two or three months ago. And I just shaved with that, I don't know, maybe two weeks ago or so. But I didn't have the, act the matching balm. When he sent that, he, they didn't have it in stock. So he, he went ahead and sent it to me. And I think he sent LP one as well. But uh, thank you, Thomas. I sent you an email. I appreciate it. Um, and the, the scent on this is also... It's also very nice, although it kind of is overshadowed right now by the by the balm that I have on my face. But um, I have a little weeper down there. Yeah. Anyway, I think the video is long enough. I appreciate you guys watching as always. Um, yeah, I uh, can't thank you guys enough for just watching, interacting. You know, nothing, nothing special. Um, hope you're enjoying the videos. Hope you're enjoying the content. I do plan on starting on Saturdays to do, um, no, not a live shave. I am gonna do a live shave on a Saturday, but it won't be a, it won't be like a normal thing. But I do plan on doing on Saturdays, having a video uploaded. Um, I'm gonna call it like sharp Saturdays or something like that, basically just like a honing video. Um, honing a specific blade, I don't know what I'm gonna hone, but just whatever. And uh, just talking about a stone that I'm honing on or whatever, you know? Um, I'll explain what I'm doing, why I'm doing it, that type of thing. What I see, what I feel, whatever. It'll just basically be like a, for lack of a better term, it'll kind of be like a very slow, mellow type of um, type of video. But anyway, all right, guys. Uh, oh, let me show you my notes. I'm just looking at them, making sure I covered everything. <laughs> I had two pages of notes. Uh, I, I screwed up the three ounce. For some reason, I wrote two ounces there, and then I went back and had to change it to three ounces. But yeah, I, I seriously do. Look, Crown and Crane, I seriously do my research. Like, Crown and Crane Northwoods, I kind of go over the specifics here. Yeah, this is a, this is literally all the notes that I was just reading from. So, I try to do my research. I try to get things right for you guys. You know, I don't just ramble. Well, I do just ramble, but I, I try to keep it at least, you know... In, in the realm of like the same talking point, but <laughs> all right guys, I'll see you guys next shave.